course, uh, <coughs> it's of course brutal uh, in many ways. It's um, it's a it's a fine uh, margins in general. I think on the day, I think it's fair to say that the better team on the day won. Uh, uh, but when you're leading one nil um, away from home, also um, in the 92nd or third minute, um, and we didn't solve the last two goals and the big chance to us. Let's say it was that that happened, and you know, we just finished the last four or five minutes, uh, you know, winning one nil. Everyone be praising us for the defending, which I still think was fantastic in many ways. I think the blocks was good, the principles, the characters, the mentality, the effort. Unbelievable. Sometimes when you can't hit your own high level, you need to to work hard. And the boys did everything. Then uh, uh, they thrown everything at us, and it was an unbelievable touch from Wilson that I, in hundred out of hundred situation, would have taken any day again. I think it's one in hundred will go in the back of the net um, from that position, that angle. Um, then they scored. Then I like that we went hard, to tried to win, uh, created a big chance. Uh, where we could have won it, and in the end we lost it, so um, that's what cool. Is it particularly disappointing for you, considering defending us at times has been kind of the Achilles heel so far this season, yeah. to have got that far with such good defending when Fulham was so dominant and then yeah. to have nothing? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, I think that's why it's, um, that's why emotions, you, you, we need to keep them out of it, but on the other hand it's impossible to keep it out of it. Uh, because there's a lot of good things in terms of the defending that were today. Of course, I think on the ball and our own, own level uh, offensively, own level offensively, I don't hit. I don't think we hit high enough level. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah. Hi, Thomas. I just wanted to ask, what have you said to the players in the dressing room after the to score? Some of them walking around, you know, on the floor, shirts over their heads. How do you pick them up after that? Uh, right now, I think it's impossible. It doesn't matter what I'm saying. I think they don't really listen. Uh, if I'm honest, so probably tomorrow uh, we need to look into that. Uh, we, with all due respect, it's brutal to lose this way, but we lost one game, and uh, we need to like normal have a normal process tomorrow. Uh, of course, I'm burning inside. It's extremely frustrating and irritating and everything, um, and then we need to move forward from here. Um. I mean, what is that feeling like? Sorry to go back there, but obviously when the second goal goes in, I mean, what are your initial thoughts at that point? I'm not allowed to swear, so it's very difficult to put the full description uh, here uh, live. Uh, let's put it this way, it's not great. <laughs> and, I mean, it's a performance that really, obviously, on, a, on another night, would have been a masterful performance. So maybe pick up one some of the positive performances we saw, because there were plenty. I think actually we, I know, and it was, you know, just sometimes it happens in games, games like this. Uh, it's away from home, local derby, uh, uh, under the floodlights, get in front. Um, we can't, you know, really, how can you say, uh, be enough on the ball. Um, Fulham put us under pressure, did well. But we defended well. We didn't give a lot of way. I can't actually remember a big chance to put him. Uh, yes, a lot of shots, a lot of uh, crosses, a lot of situations, but we dealt with everything. And they needed a bit of magic from Wilson. So that happens. Disappointing for you, obviously, and difficult for you to maybe talk about this so soon after a defeat. Is this sort of game quite a good advert for the Premier League? Because two teams that people don't necessarily <coughs> always watch under the floodlight, it's been end to end, really, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Um, I, I definitely think it is. Um, uh, so also make sure that everyone stays right to the end. Uh, I think that's important. Uh, um, and also, it's not like then they came uh, back for them. We, we, you know, we went yeah. and we created a, a massive chance. And uh, you know, two nearby where you know, drops half a yard uh, differently than it's another double chance. So. Yeah, I guess it was it was positive for the Premier League. Thomas, how happy were you to risk conceding another goal by going to school again? I'm always happy with that. And also, if you look at the situation, it was not like we st we're still plus one or plus two defending. Uh, uh, so I think um, I'm more than happy to take the risk. I think I say all the time, if you don't take risk, you also take risk. <coughs> so hopefully on another day, they could have given us three points um, instead of uh, only one in overtime. Uh, which, and I don't know, we lost uh, in the end, but over time, hopefully that paid off. Thank you. Anna, 
like that full time whistle, sorry, did you go over to anyone to pick them up? Because there's certain players, especially Vandenberg, for example, it really seemed to affect him. Were there certain players you went over to and had a word with? Uh, no. In my, in my honest, we just went in the dressing room and then I just gave a whatever. Uh, not a high five, but a slap to everyone and spoke a little bit and then move on. That's almost 14 points lost from winning positions this season. Yeah. Is that just circumstances in different games or an issue that you've got to address? Uh, I think it's all different. The first four away games are difficult positions. Of course, we would love to have got more from them. Uh, and of course, tonight, um, maybe, maybe even more. Um, I still prefer, if I should, get in front in all five games instead of getting 1-0 down. Um, so I still think it's more positive than get 1-0 down and then try to turn it around. Uh, in the end, over time, hopefully again, that will give us more points. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.